Here. Ooh, no thanks. No drink here. No, I'm fine. Look, this is me pre coffee first thing in the morning. You, uh, you cut it on a wine glass. Yeah, I do know. I was there. It's, it's not a dig. I just recognise that, you know, that morning after, not a clue what I did feeling, that's all. I know what I did, Tar. I shouldn't have phoned Joe when I've had a few. You didn't phone me. No, what I mean is you didn't need... You shouldn't have come checking up on me. Actually, all right. You did phone me. <laughs> because you want to get a grip on this. And there's no shame in that, Carla. Oh, yeah, OK, look, I'm a maudlin drunk. I got bladdered. I felt a bit unhinged. I made a stupid phone call. You shouldn't be here. Well, nobody knows I am, all right? And I'm not going to say it. As far as people think, I'm at a mate's house all right now here. I'm fine. Carla? Carla, it's Leanne. Hiya, this is Carla Connor. Uh, leave a message, I'll get back to you. Hiya. It's Leanne, listen, I'm worried about you. Give me a ring, yeah, y'all. I'll pop over to Bucky's later. Peter's babysitting some Alky, mate. She's gone. Babysitting's over. Yeah, I'm going. As soon as you admit to me sober that you've got a problem, OK? That's the first step. Oh, I am not like you. Oh, come on, Carly. You're kidding yourself. Really? Yeah. Have I set fire to my flat? Have I tried to kill my kid? You were about to drive into the nearest wall drunk. Yeah, about to. Big difference. I didn't. Peter, don't make me your project. Just go back to Leanne. Leanne can wait. I am not being your excuse to treat her like dirt. Just admit it. Admit what's going on. Haven't you hurt her enough? I love Leanne. Oh, yeah. I bet meeting with you fulfilled all her dreams, didn't it? We're happy, now that I'm in control. Mm -hmm. When I grow up, I want to get engaged to an alcoholic bookie. And I want to mind his business and his son while he goes AWOL, trying to look for someone to make him feel better about himself. I know what she sacrificed for me. <laughs> Interesting use of past tense there. Yes, alcohol nearly ruined my life, but that's why I'm here, OK? That's why I'm trying to help you. Yeah, we didn't bother because the way I feel now. I'm never drinking again, all right? <laughs> Remember that at four o'clock when you feel better. Hair of the dog, that's what I need. Quick one after work. Who can I persuade to have a drink with me? Shut the door on your way out. Why not? Why do you want me to start? It's a business. I'm a businessman. My passion is to take an idea... My idea? A brilliant idea and make it succeed, turn it into a profit. Look, I'm not a dreamer. But if I was, the dream would be to have a healthy balance sheet and some pride. You're the dreamer. You always were. No, it was mine and Peter's dream. Wrong. Peter's a businessman like me. He would have stood back and let you run that bar, make it into the stylish and classy place you always saw in your head. Peter! Say yes, just say yes! How was Carl? Oh, uh, tough. Oh, yeah, you look exhausted. I'm offering her a job here, running this place. I have already said no! Look, I'll pay well, because I know I make more when she's driving it. Her vision. Plastic's the new chrome to me. You can finish what you started. I said no! <sighs> she deserves it! She said no. Doesn't she? You know, I think Carla needs somebody else to buy into the factory. It's too much for her on her own. She looks shocking. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hi. Well, Maybe I could help her out a bit. <laughs> what, pushing paper around? Well, betting slips of paper. I reckon managing the bar had more to it. Yeah, I know. Lee, look, I've been thinking. I reckon you should take that job that Nick's offering. You are? No, I've already told him I'm not interested in his clues. Well, maybe you're not. No, I hate the place. Ah, but that's because it matters to you. I know, it did then and it still does. Peter, you know what it did to us? Yes, and I admit when he first said it, my initial reaction was no, because... Because you are more important to me. No, because I failed. And I wish I hadn't, you know, I wish I'd have been stronger and less... Well, less me, really. 
makes you that marry you idiot. I know. And I want you to have everything that's going to make you happy. And maybe I just have to accept you. There's some things that I just can't give you. And how hard would it be for you to watch me trot off to that place every day, eh? But if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it, would it? I want you to finish what you started before I came along and messed it all up, because I love you. You'll have to bar me, then. <laughs> Oi! Engaged types. Sad old singletons trying to work over her. And sup. We're only joking. No need for issy fit. No issy fit here, Sean. Mmm, I am. <laughs> Nick's probably offered the job to somebody else now, anyway. Lee, why don't you go and tell him? I'll pick Si up from my dad's. Oh, yeah. Um, just give me ten minutes. All oh, right, OK. I'll have a white wine. In fact, make it a bottle. Won't be long. Hey, I love. <clears throat> Not for you, this one, is it, Peter? Oh, no, no. I'm going back there, love. I've worked so hard to get here. Yeah, well, I'm only having one myself. You better be prepared for Leanne rolling in drunk. Well, I'm sure it wouldn't be the first time. Well, I could always squeeze one down if you're overloaded. <laughs> it's our show, but no time. Have been all right, Mrs Connor? You, wife? Fine, thank you. We were all there first thing, all ready to clock on. You'll be paid. What was I meant to say to Leanne? Let's go for a coffee tomorrow instead. It was her that said drink. I never said that this was going to be easy. I won't fight you. Good. Do you honestly think that's going to be the only one? Hmm? Maybe you're not ready to change things yet. Enjoy. I was a cow this morning. Sorry. My apologies to Liam, won't you?